Well, two and a half years after COVID shut down most of the world, the pandemic may seem like more of a memory for some Americans. But with families meeting up for the holidays and travel at pre-pandemic levels, doctors are now, are now warning of a possible tridemic. Dr. Monica Gandhi joining us now. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So the combination of RSV, the flu, and COVID pushing some hospitals over the edge, how much worse are you expecting this uh, could get? And could we return to some hospitals being at full capacity this winter? So, you know, one thing to say is that every winter season prior to this, we always had what we called respiratory pathogen season. This was always the worst time for hospitals. So that is baseline. And then two things that are happening now is that we are seeing influenza and RSV rise, probably because COVID's down. You know, COVID is still with us. It's always gonna unfortunately be with us, but we have so much more population immunity that RSV and influenza have a chance, just like they did in the summer in the Southern hemisphere. And so we're seeing those rise and we may have had less immunity in our own bodies for the last couple of years to those two viruses. So one thing we can do, influenza shots, available down to six months, please, please get your flu shot. It's really important and it can prevent severe disease. Get COVID boosters if you're older. And RSV, we don't have a vaccine yet, but we can watch our children and bring them in because we have treatment if they get sick. Appreciate the context. And is one of the three more concerning than the others? So in this case, it's very interesting to see that in the UK, influenza is actually worse than COVID at this point. And that's probably because everyone's seen a lot of COVID. They have natural immunity. They've had the vaccine because UK had great vaccination rates. And influenza in the ICU is exceeding that of COVID. So I'm worried for that as well in our country that COVID really is, all, again, always going to be with us. But we've done a great job. 78% of those over 18 have the full vaccine series. And we also have had a lot of natural immunity. So I'm more worried about influenza this year, like what we saw in Australia. And luckily, we have a way to, to fix it, or at least bring severe disease down. But our vaccination rates are lower than we would think at this stage in the influenza epidemic. Okay. And when it comes to any of these three illnesses, RSV, the flu and COVID, at what point is it time to go see a doctor? So if especially young children, especially if you feel like they're getting very short of breath, they're struggling to breathe, unfortunately, high fevers, please, please bring your children in. Because what do we have? We have Ozeltamivir for influenza. We have ribavirin treatment for RSV don't have an RSV vaccine yet. We will by the fall, probably for pregnant women who um, this will protect their neonates and for older people. But right now we do have treatment, symptomatic treatments that help children. All right. Dr. Monica Gandhi, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.